Will the GOP dump the Trump? New York's top Republican reportedly thinks so. Our political analyst Fred Dicker reports in the New York Post the state's GOP chair doesn't believe Trump will get the party's nomination for a number of reasons. Here to break it down for us is our political analyst, New York Post political columnist Fred Dicker. Fred, what's interesting here in your reporting is that the main reason here has nothing to do with, with what's dominating the headlines, which is Trump's exchange with Fox News' Megyn Kelly. No question. It has to do with the fact that Trump, at the very beginning of that Thursday night debate, was the only one who would not commit to not running an independent campaign should he not be the nominee. Or put differently, he wouldn't vow that he would support whoever the Republican nominee is. That's really worried the Republican Party because Trump has flirted with the possibility that he'd run as a third party candidate. They believe that would finish any Republican candidate. Ed Cox, the New York State Republican chairman, was at the debate. He spoke to a lot of Republicans there. He's part of the Republican National Committee. And he told me that there is no question that the party will block Trump one way or another unless he changes his position on whether he'll support the winner of the primary. Is there a candidate that Ed Cox is pulling for right now in this race, or will he not tell you that at this point? Well, I don't think he has one. I mean, most New York Republicans now aren't sure who the best candidate is. I think it's fair to say, though, Cody, most of them, if not all of them, believe it's not Donald Trump. And keep in mind that the party has a lot of power. They could block Trump, for instance, from even being in the next debate. They decide who, are, who will be in these uh, Republican National Committee authorized debates. They could also block them from getting on the ballot in a lot of states as a Republican. And that's something that Trump obviously doesn't want to have to deal with. There also, by the way, just as a footnote, there's a growing feeling that Trump may be not prepared to spend the kind of money that would be involved, even in going all the way as a Republican candidate. He spent very little of his own money, notwithstanding the fact that he is a billionaire. Well, it'll be interesting to see if, if they're banking on that. What's the feeling out there? Will, will Trump self-destruct, do they think? Or do you think he's going to push forward and say, all right, if I can't be a Republican nominee, I'm going independent? Well, I don't think they know. <laughs> I think they thought he self-destructed with his Mexican remark and then with his exchange and confrontation, really, and the ugly comments he made about Megyn Kelly. But we see in the latest polls that hasn't happened yet. So I, don't, I think they're confused about him, and it may be that they're putting out this threat that they could uh, uh, deny him the ability to become the nominee because they're that worried about him. But a lot's going to happen between now and a final decision by Donald Trump, that's for sure. This is, at, at the very least, very interesting political theater. So sure. we'll see how it plays out, Fred. Thanks so much. Reminder, you can hear Fred's radio program live from the state capitol every weekday morning from 10 to 11 on Talk 1300 AM.